All right, Bulls. So we're going to hop in the golf cart. I'm going to do the driving. Kevin's going to do the filming. We got Elizabeth on, on your comments and questions. We're ready to go, but we're literally going to take you from the starting point, right? Where you should start your journey on Fowler and Collins, and we're going to take you to the Marshall Student Center. So you ready? Let's go. All right, Kev, you ready? Yep. Flip us around and let's do this. So as you turn down into, uh, into to Collins, right, it is our beautiful main entrance, right? You may have like come this way to do your campus tour. Um, and so we are coming up to alumni. And you're gonna see a lot of signs like this. And you see our, our colleagues over at Parking and Transportation are putting up the welcome signs. We are getting, let's hope we can get this light. I'm putting on my blinker. And so our beautiful main entrance. So well, here is where you're gonna turn left. You're gonna turn left onto Alumni Drive. So we are heading westbound right now on Alumni Drive. So, hey, there's our Associate Director, Willie Garcia. So, um, and as you can see, we've got a lot of our research park on the left. We've got engineering and our academic buildings on the right. I know we've got a lot of engineers this year, Kevin. We, um, our, our engineering, living, learning community over in Juniper Poplar is full. So we've got a lot of great things happening in engineering and a lot of our other LLC partners. So, um, all right, so speed bumps. We've got to slow down a quick second. Make sure nobody's coming to the crosswalk. You know, safety first. That's what we've been talking about all day, right? So we are coming back up to where we started this journey, which is uh, near the Juniper Poplar Magnolia area. And the first light we come up to is going to be here. We're going to pass through this light. And we're going to go to that second traffic light. So, and I know it seems a little weird if you haven't been here before, but we are a very big campus. We have a lot of traffic lights to make sure everybody stays safe. Um, so let's hope we can come through the traffic light pretty quickly. So, you know, Kev, one of the things I forgot to mention when we were doing uh, the Juniper Poplar one is our, our Juniper Poplar Magnolia residence is that um, there is a no parking along that street, right? We've talked a lot about some of the areas where people can unload. And I just want to point out that that is a no parking street. Beard Drive is no parking. So you got to park in 24 to get to your unloading zone, right? Because why? Why, Kev? To not obstruct traffic. Exactly, but that's where Bull Hall is. And Bull Hall is your help. So, um, all right, so tour, we are still on Alumni Drive and we are getting ready to come up to Magnolia. Um, that is our next big, um, big intersection, so. All right. Little drink of water, because it is hot. All right, we are turning right onto Magnolia, so essentially we're also going northbound now. So right onto Magnolia. And we're gonna follow this up to Holly Drive. So it is not too far, just uh, uh, maybe a quarter of a mile or so. But um, as you can see, we've got Juniper, Poplar, and Magnolia on our right. Um, had a great tour of that area today. So getting ready to, to do, do all of our final checks and get folks uh, moved in this week. So we are so excited. And then, whoa. Speed bump, check in for folks. All right. So, oh, I like the, hey, let's go. All right, sorry, let's go Bulls. So, oh, perfect, we got good luck with the light. We're not, we're gonna be doing everything. So, all right. Um, so, passing through the other side of Beard Drive. Um, it is important that you do not turn down Beard Drive if you're making your way to the Marshall Student Center because it will just become a um, very compact with the traffic, so. Uh, do yourself a favor, come around the outside and turn turn on to Magnolia and uh, and follow this path. I promise you, we've thought a lot about this. We've worked with a lot of partners, um, making sure that we have a good good path for you to get there. So, um, passing right now, we're still on, on USF Magnolia, but we have our Moffitt, Can Moffitt Cancer and American Cancer Society uh, facilities. So doing some great work over there, uh, saving some lives. So really appreciate uh, the partnership with those two amazing organizations. So then the other side is a little bit of USF Health. And then we are gonna, gonna stop right here for this traffic light. So 
Um, you know, I'm going to consider traffic lights like commercial brakes, right? <laughs> oh, commercial brakes over. That's the way we roll. We just we just fast forwarded through the commercials. So. Andy, maybe you can talk about how this might be confusing to people who are coming here for the first time, but we'll have maps all over the place so they can figure out where they're going. That is a great, great uh, point. So if you have never been to campus or you haven't, uh, maybe uh, you're, you know, some individuals can't, can't follow maps very well or you know, remember the streets that you were here a year ago, it's okay, we got you covered. Um, back there where we started our journey, we will have, um, we will have a lot of, uh, of what we call sandwich boards or A-frames, so you know, kind of tent signs. Um, they're 24 by 36, they're big, you can't miss them. Um, and so they will do all of the directing for you. So um, just make sure you pay attention. We will have lots and lots of um, the smaller H stake signs. And so they will guide you as far as we possibly can to make sure that you stay on the right path. So I forgot to mention because I was running my mouth, but we were on, um, on Magnolia and we turned right onto USF Holly Drive. And so that is where uh, we are at right now. And we're gonna stop at our next stoplight. So Kev, can you switch around and so we're pointing forward? Are we good? Yep. So, um, so starting right here, at the corner of USF Laurel and USF Holly, right? We are going to be starting it into in coning um, or traffic coning off a right-hand turn lane only. Um, we did this last year. If you are returning, um, but I want as soon as this traffic light changes, we're going to talk a little bit. Here we go. So starting just right up here, as as this side of Holly begins, um, University Police will have lots of cones starting. And this right-hand lane will be a right-hand turn lane only. You will have an opportunity to move over into the left lane. The left lane will be a through pass. So you'll be able to continue going on your, on your path if this is not where you're uh, trying to make it to. But all of our residents who are checking in, we were heading up to the Marshall Student Center. And we have the three main lots set and ready to go for you. So as we kind of approach this point, there will be lots of signs and there will be in the a right hand turn lane only so um, as you can see as we get up to the first one this is not the lot we're trying to get you to this is not it we're not making a right hand turn here this second entrance this is not it either and i promise you there will be lots of signs lots and lots of signs so but as we get up here to the third one Right, this is the 3B entrance for lot 3B. This is will be where the cones will take you one way. We will only be able to turn right in here. And and then Kevin, this is where we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna hop out and talk for a second. So as we are as we come through here, and let's do this again, Kevin. Let's come on up here. So we are in the three series lots, 3A, 3B, 3C. And we have brought you down USF Holly Drive into this one, this right turn only, right? So lots of police, you'll see, have lots of cones. There'll be lots of safety, right? It'll bring you into this lot. And inside this lot, we have uh, about a dozen professional parking attendants that we bring on campus to help you find a space. So they're gonna help you find a space and they're gonna help you um, get out of a space easily. Now. There will be some one ways, right? So we're directing all the traffic to go this way and out and around when you have departed. So keep, keep that in mind. And down there on the 3A uh, entrance, that will be an exit only. And again, we'll have lots of signs. We'll have cones to help that. So um, why do we stop here? This is where your journey is, right? We want you to, to get to this space as quickly and as efficiently as possible because the Marshall Student Center is where we're gonna do check-in. So that's where we're going to double check to make sure that you have your ID. That's where we're going to double check uh, that your living assignment. We're going to issue your keys. We'll have an opportunity for you to talk to university police about maybe some of their safety programs that they have. Um, with, uh, with any luck, we'll have uh, K9 Bailey there, who is an amazing uh, therapy dog. Uh, just a lovely, lovely boxer. So, um, And we'll have a number of opportunities for new student, you to connect with new student connections and parent and family engagement. And so really, really excited about what's gonna be happening in there. But that 
is where the journey starts. So I feel like we have a question. Well, I think it would be a great time to, while we're talking about the MSC, to talk about activating those ID cards. Oh, that's a good point. So we ran reports because we like to be prepared. And we know that there are a number of you that have not even requested your ID card yet. Um, please, please, please do that today. It is very simple. You go online. I think it's in My Bulls Path. That's the quickest way. And I know you know My Bulls Path. Quickest way to go ahead and get your ID card like submitted. You will have to make sure that all the information is correct. You will have to take a photo. There is a very simple process to it. It's like a passport photo. Make it, you can smile, but it should be open and covered and I believe have a white background. Um, instructions, specific instructions are, are on the website. Get that submitted today. That way, when you show up on Thursday, if you've submitted it, you've gotten an approved picture email, then we w should have it printed and ready for you to pick up on Thursday morning. Now, that doesn't mean you're done. You do need to activate it, right? And it's a little scan with your phone, um, or you can go on the website and activate the, the ID card. So it does take about 20 minutes to promulgate through all the system, but you will need it to get into the residence hall. You will need it to get into the library. You will need it to eat. So all of these things are very, very important. So please submit your card today. So, uh, or your request for an ID card today. So, and you know who I'm talking to. So you'll be getting an email from us or, or the ID card office as well. So, all right. What else we got? Maybe uh, tell people to be patient when it comes to bed lofting. Yes. So um, I'm going to get to that one quick second. I do want to make a comment about the Marshall Student Center. Kevin, let's move to the shade. Because as we've talked about in all of our videos, shade is, is critical. It is incredibly hot out here. And so we want to make sure we stay as safe as possible. So one of the things about when you head up to the Marshall Student Center is when you enter into the atrium, there will be people greeting you. We have a lot of um, faculty and staff from across campus that will be there. Um, we will have, as you make your way in, you'll see some tables for new student connections, parent and family engagement, um, some other uh, campus resources. Um, please make sure, families, please make sure you stop by and see them. They're a great resource to stay connected to the university. Um, but then you'll make your, your way up the grand staircase. Um, we will have some refreshments and some um, things like that set out for you. Uh, definitely water, we'll have some coffee if you're here early enough. Um, and then um, students and families, if you would like, um, can start your way into the ballroom. Um, we have a very kind of prescribed queue for you to make sure that you hit all the stations and get set up properly. Um, because again, we want you to move in uh, and have a great experience. So um, the other thing that we were just talking about was, um, what did you say to me? Patience? Bed lofting. Bed lofting, right. So many of you may have put in your request for bed raises. Um, we have 6,500 students who live with us we usually get about 3,000 plus requests. It does take us a little bit of time. We do work through them as quickly as possible, but if you have not and would like to, you can submit your, um, your bed raise requests um, on our website. Just go to our move-in page and you can find information on it. Um, we will get into our work order system and then one of our technicians will uh, get queued up to go move in. Andy, Here's, can parents do it themselves? No, parents cannot do it themselves. I know that's, I, I'm that DIY dad as well, but please, for the safety of yourselves, your students, um, and for the furniture and equipment, please don't do it. Um, we will get there as quickly as possible um, to, to make sure that we get it, but it may take us a day or two. Please be patient, So, but we will get it. If you've requested it, we will get to it. So, um, what else? What are the other things I should think I should think of? Uh, is, Talk any, about the balloon drop. After. Great point. So. Um, so here at the Marshall Student Center, we will only be uh, doing check-in until 4 p.m. Um, at 4 p.m., we have to close down our operations because the Marshall Student Center needs to shift gears completely and get ready for kickoff. And kickoff usually is included um, a pep rally of sorts. Um, we usually see Rocky out there. Um, and then we do a large, I mean, super big countdown to the balloon drop. And so that really kicks off our year, kicks off the week of welcome. We are geared up and ready to, to start getting you connected and, and really honing in uh, being a part of the Bull community. So um, please take advantage of all of that. Connect with your RA about going to these events. Um, I, can't, I, don't, I don't even know. There's hundreds of events over the next, um, next few weeks. So um, I don't know if anybody knows this, but uh, Joe Gatto from Impractical Jokers 
is going to be doing a thing here uh, as a part of Week of Welcome. Yeah, I just saw the lawn sign for that. I'm so excited. So, um, big fan of his. I love, I love his comedy. So, um, that's all free for students. So, um, other than that, we'll, we'll have to close up shop. But don't worry if you're running a little bit behind. Get a bite to eat from about 4 to 5, 5.30. Go to you know Bloom, uh, the kickoff. Come in and see us afterwards. We will have remote locations in our residential communities um, open. Again, see our web pages for further details on your your particular area. But um, we it will take us about ninety minutes or so to close down operations here and reopen them and, and get folks checked back in. Like I said, great opportunity to get a bite to eat and go to kickoff. So um, other than that, I think we. I mean, I've said this in my all the videos. I am so excited. My team is so excited. The campus is so excited to have you back and uh, to welcome our new Bulls. So um, if there's anything we can do, leave us a comment um, or uh, give us a call at 813-974-0001 or shoot us an email, housing at usf.edu. And I look forward to seeing everybody on Thursday. And until then, go Bulls. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I am Dr. Andy Johnson. I'm the Director for Operations and Outreach here at USF Tampa Housing and Residential Education. Uh, I'm going to talk for a minute, just to talk to you a little bit about uh, grand opening logistics and helping you to find your, your locations and talk to you a little bit about where you, um, where you can find assistance on grand opening day and when you get to your community. So stick with us. We're going to have a couple of different segments um, throughout the, the morning, and uh, we'll, we'll also be replaying this on our Facebook and YouTube channels. So um, for that way, you can reference it later. But uh, hoping a lot of people are starting to log in now. We'll give it just a minute or so. But uh, right now, we are actually in the Juniper Poplar, Lot 24, um, and so we're going to start our tour here today. Um, Juniper Poplar and Magnolia residents is a home to about 1,500 residents here. Um, as you can see, we've got some folks that are already gotten uh, transitioned over from their summer assignment. We have deliveries happening. We are getting ready for you. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about, and as you just saw a little bit in Kevin's shot, is that um, we have some coned areas here. And this will be the future home of a bull hall station, right? So this will be the bull hall station for, uh, for move in. So, sorry, I was trying to get out of Kevin's shot and he's trying to get me in the shot. So um, we will have a giant white tent here. Um, there will be lots and lots of bull hall volunteers to help you get moved in. Um, and just to recap what a bull hall volunteer is, um, bull hall are exactly that. They're volunteers that have elected to come in a little bit early and help their fellow bulls get moved in. Uh, they go through a pretty rigorous training program um, with colleagues from across campus. And so when they get here and they are ready to help starting bright and early, uh, they will have move-in bins that, will, uh, that are assigned to them. They're gonna help meet you at your car. They're gonna help you get unloaded. And then they're gonna help you get unloaded up to your room. So, um, so we, I know I said that they have with bins, but we also encourage our residents and families to bring moving carts or dollies or bins or anything to help them with that process. So. Um, so this here, right here in, in lot 24, in another couple of days, we'll have a, a giant tent here. It will be ready and set for you. Now, lot 24, we talked a little bit about this in some of our emails and things like that. Um, but lot 24 is an unloading zone. This is a very active place. Um, and so when you arrive in this lot to, to unload your car, we ask that you do that as quickly as possible um, for uh, just the courtesy of your fellow bulls, right? We've got a lot of folks that need to get moved in on Thursday. And so once you get fully uh, unloaded, um, that doesn't mean fully unloaded and decorate your room. That just means getting your car fully unloaded or your vehicle or whatever. Um, we're asking you to move all the way down and park up into the Beard Garage. That is going to be our long-term parking. It is just around the corner here. I promise you it is less than like a 90 second walk from the garage to uh, back to J Juniper Poplar. So um, so once we get all settled and you get moved in, please move your car as quickly as possible, just so that other bulls can get in here uh, and get moved in. So um, one thing I do want to mention is that, as you can see, there is curbing all around this area. Um, please do not park anywhere on the grass or anywhere up in, um, in the non-designated lot areas. Let me just put it that way. Um, we've had that happen in the past. We're asking you, please, please, please don't do that. Um, the other thing that we will have open um, but it is strictly enforced are the ADA spaces, right? So we have about 
15 here in this lot, this is not an unloading zone, all right? These are for folks that have state-issued placards or license plates um, who are authorized and have a need to sit to be in the ADA spaces. So please do not park here to unload. This is not an unloading zone. Um, our parking enforcement and our university police will enforce this. So um, I just want to give you the heads up so that way you can avoid that, avoid any extra fines or I hope not towing, but let's try to avoid that. So we want a really good move-in experience. So, all right. So um, we're going to start making our way a little bit into J Juniper Poplar um, so we can talk about what it will be like in the inside of the space. So I know some of you probably have taken the tour with admissions. Great. I love that because I think that gives you a really great preview. As a matter of fact, we just saw an admissions tour going in. So come on, future bulls. <laughs> um, but as we make our way in, so we have the nice wide sidewalk. We will have lots of things going on. There will be lots of people welcoming you. Um, there are about 30 resident assistants who, um, who live in this building who are currently working on getting it prepared, um, making sure everything is spick and span with our custodial and our maintenance teams. And so um, we, are, we are very eager to welcome you back. So come on in. And as you can see, some of our housing services team members so they do a lot of the back end stuff. Uh, they run the, the, um, the service desks, and things like that. So if you need anything. So we are standing literally in the, in the beginning part of Juniper Poplar, right? Just to, to this side here is Juniper Dining. So, and then we have Juniper on this side. So now, as you notice, there are three banks of elevators um, and this building is six, seven stories tall. So um, there may be a little bit of a wait. So just be patient. You're in the air conditioning, it should be good. We always have lots of fans and things like that blowing in here to make sure the air circulates. Um, but we also have a stairs option. So if it is that you are able to take a stairs, um, there are stair, um, stair doorways and you can actually take it right up to the, to the thing. Same thing over in the poplar side. So um, you, the, again, this will be, we try to make it kind of a party atmosphere. We're ready, we're, we're so excited. So um, as you can, maneuver down this way a little bit if you are showing up a little bit late or a little bit um, early um, down here in this hallway we'll have juniper poplar 1317 and 1319 and so we will have those as our check-in locations um, after hours or um, so if you can't make it during the the marshall student center time frame of uh, of nine to four then we'll be helping you out down here so um, so just another quick walk so we talked a lot about juniper poplar but i also want to talk about magnolia oh let me, let me see. Uh, um, so Magnolia is over here. Um, and we do have a, a whole team dedicated to our Magnolia apartment residents as well. Um, we actually will have a separate bull hall station over in the lot just right over there. As you can see, we've already got our, um, our dumpsters staged. Um, that brings me to a good point. Please, please, please break down your trash. Um, your cardboard boxes and things like that. They can all go in that dumpster. Um, and we will be moving those dumpsters a couple of times during the day to make sure that we make sure we have a clean, uh, clean area. So, um, but our, over in this lot right here, we will have a bull hall station as well. And so um, just kind of giving you a little bit more reference to the beer garage. I told you it's less than a 90 second walk, but there it is right there behind those trees. You can see it, it's kind of a pinkish in color, uh, plenty of parking spaces. So again, once you've unloaded, please move over to the beer garage. So good morning. Good morning. Um, other than that, I would say the other big thing I'm encouraging all families is wear comfortable clothing, light. It's going to be hot, especially if you're from not from around the Florida area. It is incredibly hot this time of year. Wear comfortable shoes, sunscreen, and water, 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 water. We have about six locations um, that we have placed around our residential communities that have uh, that offer free water. We refill them as much as we possibly can whenever we notice they're getting low. They are ice cold, they are ready to drink, and again, they are free. So um, please take as much water as you need on that move-in day. So we want everybody to stay safe and we want everybody to stay healthy. So um, any questions coming through? Anything I forgot? I'm looking at my team. No questions right now. All right. How busy, Andy, do you think it's going to be out here when all the craziness is happening on oh. Thursday? What can people expect? You know, I think people can expect excitement. 
I think people can uh, can get a little bit frustrated because it's hot, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, I would say it almost like being in a theme park, yes. right? There's a, there's a high level of energy and a high level of excitement, but I think that um, as you just take it in and absorb it as much as you can, enjoy the day as best you can. Uh, we've been planning for probably the last six to eight months for this day. This is kind of what we call our Super Bowl. So we're excited to have you. We hope you're excited to be here. Um, I would also say too, get to know your fellow bulls. Parents get to know your fellow bull parents. There's a community. That is what we are all about here. Um, and uh, just enjoy the day. Students, residents, bulls, whatever I want to call you today, I want you to make sure you take pictures with your family. All right? They're memories. You'll just be in the moment, right? Take the photos. Enjoy it. So, all right? All right. So, if you need anything from us um, between now and move in or post move in, please feel free to reach out to us at housing at usf.edu. Give us a call at 813-974-0001, um, or you can stop by our office. We are here to make this experience as smooth and as seamless as possible. So I think we're getting a question. We so, do have yes, a question. I love a good question. Yes, and we know you talked about this earlier, Andy, but can you talk about um, the Tampa campus? Do, they ha- do we have bins to assist with moving? Ah, good question. So yes, there will be a limited number of bins that we'll have throughout a couple of different locations. Um, and I believe that those have been clearly marked on our move-in guide. So if it is that we have bins available just based on demand that day, um, you can certainly check one out. If not, find a bull hauler. They're ready to help you. So, all right. All right, bulls, we can't wait. A couple of days and you will be here. This will be your new home and we are excited to have you. So um, until next time, and I hope I get to see you on Thursday or sometime during the week, um, please feel free to say hi. But until next time, go bulls.